In this video, I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks to use with a hammer and nails, including how to balance 12 nails on top of the head of one other nail at the end. Stay tuned. All right, so the first little tip I want to show you guys is sometimes when you pull a board apart from another board that it's attached to, you have two nails sticking up like this, and you don't want to end up stepping on something like this and getting a nail up into your foot. So a lot of times guys will just knock this over like that to try to keep you from stepping on it. But the problem is you can still hit it with like your hand or your foot and you still can get stuck by this nail right here. So one thing that I like to do is simply turn the hammer over, grab it with the claw and then kind of give it a bend like this. You bend that over and then you just smack the nail down into the board. Yeah, so this kind of shows you the difference. If you bend that nail down and then pound it down, it's more smooth. All right, so now let's try getting a nail out. So flip this board over and these nails have both been bent over. So let's see how hard it is to get this nail out. I'm just gonna flip the flip the hammer around. Get it in underneath the nail head and start to pull and pry. All right, so like I said, I can pull on it this way, get that started. And if I wanna make it a little easier on myself, I can put another board right here then put my hammer on top and I'm gonna use this other board is leverage and that helps me pull that nail out a lot easier. So another little trick that you can use if you're wanting to put a nail down and maybe it's a really small nail and you don't want to hit your thumb or your fingers is you can actually just stick some nails through a piece of cardboard like this and then you can hold back with this hand as you pound down the nails. All right, so another uh, little trick is when you're nailing close to the edge of a board, a lot of times the nail, by the time you drive it through, will end up splitting this board. Um, so with this nail, we're gonna experiment. I haven't done anything to this nail as far as the tip goes. I'm just gonna drive that through and we'll see if it splits the board. And then we've got a little trick to see if we can drive a different nail through and not split the board. All right, so that split the board. So what we're gonna try now is to actually make this, the end of our nail, more blunt. Mm, that's what you don't wanna do. Okay, so now I've made the end of the nail kind of blunt, and now we're gonna see if we can drive it through without it splitting the board. Let's go a little farther and see. All right, so you can see that there was a slight crack right there with the blunt end. It did get a slight crack, but nothing like the first one. All right, so for this last trick, it just takes a block of wood and some nails. Now, one thing about this trick is you need a nail that has a nice big round head on it like this. If you've got like a finished nail that has no head on it, this trick isn't gonna work. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna ask your friends and family, how many nails do they think they could balance on top of this nail? Well, probably the most anyone's gonna get is gonna be maybe one. Now you can tell them, I'm gonna balance 13 nails on top of this nail. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is just simply 
lay a nail down like this then you start stacking nails just like that and you keep going back and forth okay you get as many as you want on there so right now I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this would be nail number twelve and you're gonna put it on like this it's basically just gonna be like a sandwich on top of these nails and then this is the hardest part you gotta carefully grab each end and try and slide it off without letting any of the nails fall and then we're gonna balance right on top telemarketers calling me right in the middle of a video how do you like that okay so you've just won all of your bets with your friends and now you've proven that you can balance 12 nails on the head of one other nail.